So today, some astronauts were ready to make history. Dallas Ontiveros joins us live at the Bishop Museum with more. Morning, Dallas. Good morning, Kelly and Christine, and I am really excited here at the Planetarium at Bishop Museum because I am controlling the moon today. Oh, yes, it's getting real. Here joining us is Tony. He is with the Planetarium at Bishop Museum. Good morning. Good morning. And you are definitely going to inform us with so much information when it comes to the moon. So let's go ahead and take a look at this beauty right here. And I want to ask you first, how did we get our moon in the first place? So the Earth is about four and a half billion years old, and very early in the Earth's history, we were impacted by a protoplanet about the size of Mars. It slammed into the Earth and caused a whole bunch of material to fly off. All of that material slowly coalesced into this object that we now call our moon. And, you know, the moon has just been with us, like you said, for millions of millions of years. But, you know, it takes the Earth one day to rotate around uh, rotate itself but it takes the moon a whole month for it to rotate around the earth is that right yeah that's correct and it goes through different phases and that's what we're checking out right now why does the moon go through different phases throughout that month yeah so as you mentioned the moon does go around the earth in a little less than a month and as its position changes with respect to the sun and to the earth then that sunlight that reflects off of the moon hits us at a slightly different angle and so we'll see those different phases uh, throughout the month and that's what I love, you know, every night you go outside and you take a look at that beautiful moon and it's always a different sight. The, my favorite one is uh, God's toenail, you know, one of those skinny moons that you see every once in a while. But, you know, speaking of the moon and just how long it's been here, you know, we got to really consider the fact that this year marks 50 years of the Apollo 11 uh, moon landing mission. And what you're seeing right now are all the different spots in where we landed from that time period, yeah? Yeah, that's correct. And, you know, I want to know why all these different missions kind of landed on one surface of the moon. They're really close to each other. Yeah, so they're all really close together. Uh, they're all actually on the nearer side of the moon, so the same face of the moon is pointed towards the Earth all the time. Uh, and they landed on that side that faces toward Earth so that they could actually communicate with people on the Earth. If they had landed on the far side of the moon, uh, they would not have been able to communicate because uh, there weren't satellites to relay that information around yet. That's very interesting because I always wondered why they landed in a certain area. Do they had things prior from, you know, different visits that they just wanted to pick up on? But now that makes sense. You know, they got to see home to make sure they get that signal. But with that being said, the moon actually has a lot of impact on our weather system, yeah? Yeah, so the moon is what impacts our tides and what gives us our tides. And what you're seeing is actually uh, real time of uh, the different clouds and the different variations that's going on with the Earth right now. And if you take a little bit of a zoom in look, you can actually see the state of Hawaii, which is really awesome to see. But, you know, the moon kind of works out in our favor because we're kind of the last area to see the sun set being so close to the in international dateline. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. Awesome. You know, Kelly, if you had one of these in the studio, can you imagine how your weather hits would be? Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. But let's talk a little bit about tomorrow because that's when things are really going to be taking place. From 10 to 3, what is it you want people to know about the 50th anniversary of the Apollo moon landing? Yeah, so the Apollo moon landing is really, it's an extension of the human spirit of exploration, which here in Hawaii we know a lot about. Um, voyaging and exploration has been a huge part of our history here in Hawaii. Um, so we will be doing a lot of connections with that, with our moon landing um, as well. Nice. So we can also see if it's going to rain in our near future here with this map right here. So I'm going to be just kind of playing with the moon and with the earth until then. But if you want some more information a little bit later about the 50th anniversary of the Apollo moon landing taking place here at the Planetarium at Bishop Museum tomorrow, you can check our website later today at khon2.com. Reporting from the Planetarium at Bishop Museum, Dallas and Averro, singing back to you guys with more. That's similar to what you show us, right? The radar and everything, the mapping. Yeah, that looks really similar to our satellite. Yeah, yeah. very cool. All right, still to come, the